Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Herson. Hello, Angel Narciso, Cristina, JC. How are you guys doing? Are you guys ready for today's session? Hello, teacher. Hey, how's it going? Good evening, teacher. Hey, Daniel, what happened sure. to you yesterday? Uh, I have a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You had a lot of work. I, I go to my home to 11 p.m. You so you went you went home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I imagine. Recycle re, recycling uh airplane. Receiving. Yes. Receiving mm -hmm. an airplane. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Look at Narciso. <laughs> Narciso, nice headset. Oh, oh. <laughs> Right, as, if, as if you are going to start mixing, you know, like DJ Narciso. I like your headset. <laughs> so welcome, Narciso. Nice to see you. Welcome, you. JC. Uh, welcome, Marlene, Linda, Christina, and Norma. I'm glad Hello, to see evening. you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, Hello. so we are going to start, Marlene. How's it going, Marlene? Hello. What's your mood? What's your vibe today? Are you happy? Are you tired? Are you mm, happy? Ready? Nice. That's exactly what I want to hear. Okay. I know the day. I mean, today is what? It's Thursday or Wednesday. I don't remember. No, today is Wednesday. No, today is what is it? it Tuesday. Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday. Thursday. Okay. I imagine. So wow, the card in your heart. I'm sorry. No, nothing. Um, okay. Uh, so it's nice to see you guys. I'm so glad, you know, it's Thursday. And today we are going to start another units okay uh this unit personally i like it because you know it teaches nice vocabulary about orders online and refunds which is something i like talking about so um before i start i see everybody's joining us today like what 12 people connected that's good welcome marvin welcome christina How do you feel today? Ready? Okay, I want to think that is a yes. Okay, so let me start by checking the attendance. Hey, Rafa, you're there. Rafa, how's it going, Rafa? Yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm at home. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah i like that okay so let's start let's see uh, number one on the list this is narciso thank you narciso number two Christina. hello teacher hello daniel three present teacher thank you so much uh daniel elsie not connected miss Heal, not yet. Okay, Gabriela Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabby. Let's continue. Her son. Present teacher. Thank Bye you again. so much, her son. Jose Miguel. Jose? No, not yet. Uh, let's see, Ruben. Ruben. Connected this Ruben, not yet. JC is here. Hello, JC. Can you hear me? Present teacher. Present Good. teacher. Thank you so much. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda. Uh, Maria Idalia. Maria Idalia. I am present. present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marlene Nicole. Present. Thank you, Miss Rivera. Next one, uh, Marvin Omar. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Marvin. 
Uh, Norma, Carolina. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Rafa in his corner. I'm here, teacher. Good. Uh, Raquel, you did. Raquel, you here? No, connected. Uh, Ray, is Ray here? I don't think he is. Xiomara. Xiomara. Xiomara, no, connected. And Judy. Judy? No, okay. Oh, Judy is here. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Elsie is here too. Okay, Ruben's here. Oh, people just arriving, okay. So let me go ahead and update the attendance really quick. So Elsie is here, Elsie? Sí, present. How are you, Elsie? Good. Good, great. Ruben? How are you, Ruben? I'm fine, teacher. Great, nice to hear that. Okay, so let's see. I want to start today with a very short reflection and I want to hear your opinions, okay? And um, maybe one or two people will raise their hand to say what they think about this. So look at this one, here we go. You read the phrase and you tell me what you think, okay? Let's see who is going to participate. Who is going to participate? I don't see any hands up. Seventeen brains thinking. Seventeen people connected. I just need to hear a couple of you, maybe one or two. What do you think about this? What does it tell you? ¿Qué le dices? Daniel, go ahead, Daniel, please. Um, the reflection is talking about uh, <clears throat> about uh, Christmas. <laughs> I'm closer <laughs> to you than I was. <laughs> Yeah, one, uh, one, how say, uh, one more, one, uh, one day less <laughs> to Christmas or New Year. <laughs> no, that's it. Uh, sorry, teacher, it's a, it's a joke. Uh, it's okay. I like it. I like, <laughs> I, I like your sense of humor. <laughs> but uh -huh. uh, yeah, the, the, the phrase is nice because it's, it's a reflecting. Yes, uh, we have uh, every people, we have uh, objectives, and my objective is to closer than I, than I was yesterday. Okay. This is, this is, this is the reflection for me. Mm -hmm. Nice. So Christmas is around the corner. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you go to the malls, you'll see all these decorations like, and you say, yeah, Christmas is around. No, I, I got you. I, I really understand what you mean, Daniel. So what else? Anybody else? Thank you, Daniel. Anybody else? Thank you. My teacher, I am here. Hey, how's it going? Yes, tell us, what's your opinion? What's your opinion? This is module four, right? And remember when we started, when we were in module one. So that means that we are progressing, we are advancing. Right, so uh, we may not be there yet, but we are closer than we were yesterday, right? What do you think? I want to volunteers only to read this phrase, only reading, okay? If you would like to give me your opinion, it's welcome. Ruben, would you like to try reading this phrase?
Read, teacher. Yeah, please. Please. Uh, am I not be there yet? But I am closer than I was yesterday. Okay, yes. One more volunteer to read the phrase. And if you want to give your opinion, it's welcome. Thank you so much, Rafa. Only read it, please. Only read it. Only read, teacher. Yes. Or if you want to add something, go ahead. Okay. I may not be there yet, but I am closer than I was yesterday. Yes, that is correct. <clears throat> okay, so this is just a phrase, guys, for you to think about, for you to reflect, and you want to say, uh, well, maybe it's not it's not easy to be connected every every day at eight p.m. But then it's um it's a process, right? It's a procedure, and well, we have been through almost what. This is our month number four. This is el mes cuatro, module four. So basically you are, you know, like I said, um, improving. And that's, that's basically the message I wanted to give. Guys, uh, so today we have unit number two. And what is unit number two, Marlene? What is the name of unit number two? It's online orders and refunds. Okay, thank you so much. This is online orders and refunds, okay? So we are going to talk about this. Before we begin to study, I would like to go over these two questions, okay? And I want to hear more people talking, okay? Let me ask directly. Let's see, uh, Maria Idalia, mention something you learned or review on previous unit. Um, in my case, for me, it's difficult to um, to remember or um, I'm confused sometimes with uh, the when we use uh, the how many and how much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you tend to confuse how many and how much. Okay. Um, but now I'm sure that um, how much we use for um countables and we use how many for countable awesome nice nice to hear that great uh i like what you're saying thank you so much for your ideas let's see judy same question for you same question for you number one ¿Alguna pregunta? No, the same. La misma pregunta para usted. Same question. Number one, mention something you learned or reviewed on previous units. On unit number one, what did you learn? Did you learn anything new or was it? Okay. Um, el último tema que vimos, dije, fue el de el que no estuvo explicando. Uh -huh. El de coin to. Ok. Give me an example, please. Eh, en, la, en español se va a decir, en la tarea que no dejó de, de ordenarlas, a mí me costó hacerla por algunas... Porque yo tenía la, la idea de las estructuras, pero en sí, de repente me, me variaba una palabra, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí me confundí. Y esa sí me costó hacerla. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Porque según la estructura que yo tenía, iba bien. Pero de repente, me, donde yo la puse, siempre me la tiraba incorrecta. Entonces uh -huh. empecé a buscar y a buscar en mis apuntes y al final lo, lo lograba. Pero sí awesome. me costó. Awesome. Okay. Great to hear that you made it. 
me alegra escuchar que lo logró. Ok, uh, I know, I know. Sometimes, especially when there are more ideas together, cuando se vuelve un poquito más complejo, uh, then it's more uh, challenging, but it's not difficult. Thank you so much for sharing. Necesito, I need two people to, to share uh, or to describe your classmates' duties, like uh, the one we did yesterday. Yesterday we did two sort of like interviews, com, un poco como entrevistas, about uh, what you, your classmate have or doesn't have to do. So I want two people to, to read. Ayer las hicieron, pero no compartieron todos. Quiero escuchar todos. ¿Quién le gustaría participar? Que lea... Excuse me, could I know uh, what does uh, that mean? Oh, the duties. The duties, uh, duties is basically responsibilities, right? Uh, your duties, like something that you have to do, something that it's your responsibility. It's something that is... Um, At work or in general? In general. But then okay. today we're going to work like... A, at work because yesterday you did this, right? I don't know if you remember. Se acuerda que hicieron eso el día de ayer, hicieron como un half to and a half to de su compañero. Hicimos un cuadrito. Yes or not? More or less. <laughs> okay. Me van a leer, you're gonna read those ideas. Eso es lo que me van a leer. For example, si yo hablé con JC, JC me dijo que él tiene que Llegar siempre temprano, yo te puedo decir, JC has to be on time at his work every day. Al contrario, otherwise, you know, they, they fire him. No sé, ahí ustedes sabrán, no sé si lograron hacer esa actividad, creo que sí, al final de la clase. Dos voluntarios, two volunteers, raise your hand, please. Raise your hand. Me teacher. Adelante. Thank you so much. I I asked you Juan Carlos with Linda. Juan Carlos has to check the email, organize the meeting. Don't have to do have to visit. The clients, he don't have work at night. Linda have to open the store at 9 a.m. Um, receive supplier every Monday in the morning. Don't have to work on Sunday. Um, don't have to receive the money. Nice. Thank you so much, Cristina, for that participation. Clear ideas. Uh, me gusta es la contribución, buenas ideas. Una pequeña observación. Um, estamos refiriéndonos a una tercera persona. Decimos uh, clase, Cristina, decimos has, has to. Has to, right? Uh, he has to, has to. And then half, it's for more than one, or maybe myself, I have to, uh, or they have to, we have to. In this case, it has to. She is a negative, we say, remember this, uh, Christina, in class, we say, doesn't have to, right? We maintain the have to because it is an auxiliary. The Simons doesn't have to. For example, Christina doesn't have to, um, well, doesn't have to clean the office. Christina doesn't have to prepare coffee, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So that's the way it works. Has to and doesn't have to for a third person, okay? But thank you so much, Christina. I appreciate that. Anybody else? One more participation, please, before we move on. Se quedan callados porque no quieren participar o porque no hayan que decir o tienen sueño. Ok, mi teacher. Ok, uh, JC, y escuchamos a alguien más, no sé si era Linda o alguien más. O, o... Yes, teacher. Go, go ahead, JC. Ok, teacher. And yesterday my panel 
are Christina and Linda. Christina, she has to receive report from the supervisor. Um, she has to update the system. And negative, she doesn't have to learn to clean the office. You say yesterday, teacher. She yeah. doesn't have to work overtime. And Linda, she she has to open the store at 9 a.m. and she has to receive surplus every Monday in the morning. And negative, she doesn't have to work on Sunday. And she ha she doesn't have to receive money um, of customer. Only that teacher. Thank you. More than enough. Appreciate it. Clear to my ears. Appreciate it, JC. Next one, Linda. Well, my classmates uh, are Christina and Juan Carlos too, my group. So Juan Carlos, uh, she has to check emails and organize she has to organize meeting and she he sorry he Carlos was like wow <laughs> um, he doesn't have to visit clients and he doesn't have to to work at night and Christina uh, she has to receive rep reports from the supervisor and she have she has add she has to add dates the system and she doesn't have to clean the office and she doesn't have to work overtime only that nice thank you so much yes i appreciate that sounds really good and thank you for your ideas so that team was really you know working i can see christina jc and linda were really working right and then okay so let's see we are going to let me ask you one more question let me make one more uh, parenthesis on this quien logró escuchar alguna conversación de las que hablamos ayer una reacción de las que tienen, pónganme un, una, un, no sé, un thumbs up, o no sé, un, un like this, un, ok, Marlene, you did, ¿quién más? Marvin, ok. <laughs> Rubén, <laughs> come on Rubén, <laughs> es, ese, esa reacción me dice que no lo hizo, <laughs> Vaya, este, ayer decíamos y hablábamos sobre la importancia de hacer ese ejercicio. Ok, ¿cómo les puedo ayudar yo para que lo hagan? ¿Qué tiene que pasar para que lo hagan? Tienen que dedicar ese tiempo. Es necesario. Es necesario. Porque aquí nosotros uh, se va, tienen que tener esa, esa oportunidad. Darle la oportunidad a su, a su comprensión auditiva para escuchar otros acentos. Ahí esa es la ventaja. Un montón de acentos. Y pues eh, la sugerencia de Rubén. ¿Puedo dejar un espacio para preguntarles qué han aprendido, Rubén? Para eh, unos 10 minutos, ok. Dígame qué aprendió de, de este link. Podemos ir haciendo eso. Por ejemplo, de esta unidad, pues cuando tengamos una, un link, todos nos damos el, el objetivo de ir a abrir el link en, en el transcurso de las 24 horas y el siguiente clase dejamos unos 5 minutos y me comparten qué vocabulario se les aprendieron de eso. ¿Y cuántos les, cuánto les sacaron? ¿Sí? O vamos a elegirlos de manera aleatoria para que nos compartan. Y el que no lo haya hecho, ¿qué le hacemos? 
porque miren, no, no estamos presencialmente, sino pues unas cuantas ahí, este, syrups ahí, ¿verdad? ¿Saben qué son syrups? No. <ríe> Mejor que no sepa, si no. <ríe> no, es eh, en serio, tienen que hacer esto. Tienen que, este, dedicarse tiempo y, y pues vamos Maris. a ir. Ah, sentadillas. Se hace <risa> sentadillas. <risa> Arriba, abajo, haga su tarea. Entienda que eso es bueno para que siga estudiando y aprenda más. Ok, bueno, um, please, leave some time. Do not take this for granted. No lo den por sentado, ok. I know you're busy. I understand you're busy. I understand that. But if you want to really, you know, um, improve faster, get more vocabulary, be able to understand whoever is speaking, estas cosas nos van a ayudar. Ya, así que está recomendado en el manual, no es por gusto, no es porque a alguien se le ocurrió. No, está, it's proven. It's proven. What is proven? It's proven that works. Está comprobado que funciona. Okay. Well, um, so, mañana y cuando tengamos un listening voy a dar ese espacio. Okay, para que nos compartan. Y hasta que nos diga algo del listening, vamos a continuar. Okay. Así que ahorita todavía no ha salido ninguno. Vamos a regresar a la page, a la siguiente página. Y let's talk about this topic. This topic is uh, in relation to what, Mar what uh, Marlene said. Okay, we're going to talk about online orders and refunds. Okay, what is a refund? What do you know? That, what is a refund? What comes to your mind? Or when do we need refunds? When do we need refunds, guys? When do we need? Cuando, ne, cuando solicitamos o requerimos de un refund? Cuando no sale malo el producto. Exactly. Good. When the product is not good. When the product is not as we expect. Exactly. Refund. Or maybe if it is online, when do we need refunds? Mm, maybe. I don't like that product. You don't like the product? Yeah, you can still return it. Lo puede, si hay existe entre los policies que puede retornarlo y you can get a refund, sí. Okay, what else? What other scenarios can you think? Maybe when the product comes uh, broken? Yes, correct. Yes, you have your right to, to ask for a refund, yes. It happens to me this, and I wanna, I wanna say it. Um, once I called Claro, and I wanted to have, um, I wanted to buy airtime, uh, airtime minutes, like quería hacer una recarga. So the person duplicated the payment. Me cobró dos veces, duplicated payment. So then I said, come on, I mean this is not what I ordered. So go ahead and give me the refund. Okay. So that's another option, possible, you know, scenario in which you want to get a refund refunds or maybe you has issues in on the website right decía oferta y le cobraron completo right so so what's i need a refund i need a refund i need my money back this is not what you offered okay so refunds online orders tenemos un process we have a process here y ustedes lo van a ordenar you're going to organize it to see which one is first second third and fourth and so on ¿Cuál será el primer paso para hacer una order online? Para hacer una orden. Si alguien ya ha hecho una orden, se le va a hacer un poco más fácil. Si no, logically, tratemos de identificar cuál es el primer paso para place an order online, para hacer una orden en línea. I'm going to read it para, para check, check on pronunciation. La primera, credit card information. La credit card, por lo general, aparece en la mayoría de formatos como CC, credit card. Hace referencia a una credit card. Okay, uh, then we have con 
confirm your information and submit. Select the item, or see some various items to purchase. Go to the online web page, write your billing address, check the price, confirm the method of payment. The method of payment. Y la última, login into your account. Tómense unos minutitos y decidan, digamos, decidan, decide which one is first. ¿Cuál de todos esos pasos creen que va en primer lugar? Let's order them. Ordenemos los pasos, dice aquí, miren. Go ahead, please. Si alguien tiene una duda de qué significa alguna de esas, no, no, don't hesitate, no vacile en preguntar, no, no dude. I finished the chair. Awesome. Thank you so much. We have first one who finished. Cuando terminen los demás, me van avisando. Please. Tenemos, uh, okay. Tenemos ya uh, Marie Dalia who finished. Okay. Let's take one more minute. That was really fast. I like it. Angel Narciso finished too. Okay. Great to hear that. We have two people. Some of you are still working on that. Thank you, Marlene, Cristina, thank you. En lo que termina, nada más quiero hacer un recordatorio. Este... Las tareas, por favor, tienen que hacerlas. Si tienen alguna pregunta y por eso no las han hecho, pueden también mandar sus preguntas al WhatsApp. Ahí pueden escribir, miren, no hice tal pregunta o tal actividad porque está confusa y pues a lo mejor dejamos un espacio para revisarla aquí en la clase. Pero hay unas personas que aparecen con, bueno, en la mañana que mandé reporte aparecían aún sin ninguna actividad presentada y me tocó que mandarlas así, pues con cero. ¿Verdad? Así que, please, lo digo porque es necesario. Cualquier inconveniente, repórtenlo. Ok, well, let's see. Uh, antes de que me compartan su proceso, voy a pedir a, a unos tres que me lean las... Me lo lean tal cual está. I don't want the order yet. No quiero el orden, solo quiero la pronunciación. Ok. Se lo voy a poner y lo leen. Solo lean. To check on pronunciation. Veamos quién quiere tratar. 
Me teacher. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Credit cards information. Confirm your information and submit. Sell the items to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Log in to your account. Good. Thank you. Nice. Nice, Jose. Thank you. One more, please. The same. Do the same. Hi. I'm going to try. Thank you, Idalia. Um, credit card information. Confirm your information and sub submit. Select the item to purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing, billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of, of payment. Log in to your account. Good. I like the pronunciation. One more. Last one. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. Credit card information. Confirm your information and submit. Select the item, the purchase. Go to the online web page. Write your billing address. Check the price. Confirm the method of payment. Log in to your account. Thank you so much. Good. Thank you so much, Ruben. Um, Iron, select the item or items, item, I, 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 and web page, H, H, page, H, payment, A, payment, item, web page, payment, A, payment, method, meth, method of payment. Good, so we have listened to three of you already, and now, La verdad que me gustaría que todos me dijeran el orden y a ver cuántas ubicaron correctamente. Y así que les voy a pedir que en su chat, en su, si tienen teléfono, va a pasar un poquito más, pero vamos a tomarnos el tiempo. Um, me gustaría que lo ordenaran, no escriban todo. Por ejemplo, number one pueden escribir es las ab abbreviation only. Sí, o voy a mandar quizás las respuestas y usted me dice conscientemente cuántas acertó para que agilicemos un poco. Ok, give me one second. Uh -huh. Porque posiblemente en algún momento, pues, me sí, eight, ahí están. Ok, here we go. Ahí están. Check them y vea si. Coincidimos en las opiniones y luego si, al chat me van a mandar uh, si you um, got them correctly, si las obtuvo correctas. Quiero ver 17 respuestas. Aquí. O si invertió alguna, también lo puede contar. If you inverted one, you can... So on the chat, send four de ocho, four out of eight. Okay, cuatro acertó en el lugar correcto. Okay, Elsie, how did you do? Eight of eight out of eight, five, six out of eight. Okay. Marlene, which one would you had incorrect? ¿Cuál tenía incorrecto? Mándenos al grupo. Um, no, no, te, no, te, no me los manden directo a mí. Mándenos al grupo. Yes. Um, the five. 
uh, write your billing address and six, confirm the method of pay. Mm -hmm. Write the billing oh, address. The change. Um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only that. Mm -hmm. Entiendo. Sí, lo que pasa de que como parte del, del, del proceso de, de, de envío. The, en, uh -huh. Ajá, es first is the, the, the payment. The payment, yo le, le voy a pedir the el. Payment, then the, then the address. Then the mm -hmm. address, ajá, la, la dirección de facturación, ok. Uh -huh. Genial, three out of eight. Uh, ok. Ah, I see. Ok. Good. So, alguien que el, sacó perfect score en esto. Quiero ver. Creo que el que tuvo más fue six out of eight. Alguien tuvo seven out of eight, ¿no? Una experiencia comprando en línea, guys. Amazon, maybe, Alibaba, <laughs> what other? I don't know. I am, uh, yes, I am teacher. I'm I'm buying in Amazon and eBay. Oh, eBay, yeah, eBay, eBay is another one. Oh, yes. eBay, yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe that that can give us more like more input in which one or what the process is. And well, this is like one of the possible procedures. El que les acabo de brindar. Quiero que lo lean ahora ya que lo tienen. Corrijámoslo. Let's make the corrections. Y vamos a, me van a compartir. Ok, make corrections. Eh, Ténganlo en orden, en order. Okay, when you make the correction, when you finish making the correction, let me know, please. Okay, with the information corrected, I need two volunteers to read the steps. Okay, uh, volunteers, step number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. Who wants to do it this time? I want to try. Please, thank you. Um, the first step is go to the online web page. And the second step is log into your account. The third is select the items to purchase. Um, fourth, uh, check the price. Fifth, uh, confirm the method of pay of made of payment. Uh, sixth, write your billing address. Seventh, uh, write 
for information and eight confirm your information and submit. Nice. Thank you so much. Great pronunciation. I like it. This is what we're going to do. Quiero que me manden una, una dirección de una dirección de una página web. Alguien que, que nos quiera compartir una, invéntenla. Inventen ahorita. Make it up. Inventar en inglés se dice make up. Si le digo make it up es inventen. Make it up. Of course, invent es también inventar, pero solo porque. Make it up, please. Um, voy a pensar en una yo también. Le puedo decir por qué. eBay, ok, tenemos la de Daniel. Ok, ok, vale, tenemos una que acaba de mandar Daniel. I need one volunteer to read it. <laughs> Shopping center. <laughs> ok, um, so with these uh, websites that we have, we, ya tenemos tres, we have three, ahora tenemos más ahora. Ok, good, vamos a comenzar. Eh, necesito, I need volunteers to read it, quiero que las lean. Quiero estar seguro de que sí saben leer una, 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 una website, un website. Voy a poner un, un, una un poquito más complicada. Mira. Oops. oops, 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 no me deja digital. Ok, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Solo para practicar voy a mandar eso. Me pareció que como el link lo reconoció. Ok, no existe. Let's see. Voy a elegir a uno que me las lea. Uh, comencemos con la que mandó Daniel. Daniel, eh, vamos a pedirle que nos lea la que mandó Daniel. Eh, quiero ver una niña, porque fue un niño, vamos a ver una niña. Ok, Elsie, leanos la dirección que mandó Daniel. All the way up. Ah, es en el chat y búscale y me la lee. www.com.es eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Dat. 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 Ajá. Www. Dat. Eh, eBay. Dat. Eh, C-O-M. Dat. Com. Es el punto. Dat. Es el. Dat es B. Ok, good. Veamos la que mandó, si, me, si me vamos siguiendo, guys, la que mandó Rubén, la va a leer Cristina. Cristina, please, búsquela en los mensajes y le, la lee, please. Rubén. Uh -huh. well, what's the second one? www.com. Www. Com. 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 Ok. I like it. Um, Rafa, lea la que yo mandé. Le, una cadena, una cadena de ropa le sacamos, Rafa. Did you find it? Se perdió, Rafa. It, it is lost. Ay, no, no es las. You don't, you don't lost, find I it. Lost, lost, okay. Lost. You no, lost no, no. it. Sorry. www.rafaclothing.com. 
Carnet. Danet. Creo que estamos, <risa> tenemos la claridad de, de, de eso, www. That, ok. Quiero pedirle pero la de Marlene. Marlene, read it, please. Lealo, la suya, Marlene. www.swarovski.com. Ok. <risa> nice. Uh, is that your one? Your own one? You created it. Se la creó. Oh, this is real. Uh, real? For me? real? Uh -huh. Is it your? No. no. I don't know. What, what is it about? It's no, real. it's, it's the, uh, my work. <laughs> okay. The name work. <laughs> oh, your, your work. Uh, okay, company name. Okay. Ok, oh, yeah. um, Marlene lea la que yo mandé después, con, que hasta con hyperlink apareció, no sé por qué apareció así, porque le puse... Ok, https slash normanspans.com.sb Ok, es una tienda de ropa que tiene Norma, que me, me, me mandó esa, esa address. Es, eh, ¿Cómo leemos? ¿Cómo decimos dos puntos? HTTPS y luego... Yo veo Linda diciendo la palabra, pero no quita el micrófono. <risas> colon. Colon. Exactly. Colon. Colon, como colon, pero es colon. Uh, HTTPS. Entonces, can you read it again, Marlene? Léalo otra vez, por favor. HTTPS colon, uh, maybe W slash. W Norma, slash. Norma, Norma Spanks that come that SV. Ok, yes, exactly. Yes. Good. Luego, en recreo. What is it, <laughs> Rubén? Okay, uh, I didn't understand that. Uh, so... For, for Rafa, it's an in recreo. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Where Rafa and Lance were. Ah, okay, okay. So <laughs> I didn't, I, I saw it later. So good. Ahora, tenemos, tenemos ya la información de un website. Para hacer un login, ¿qué necesitamos, guys? Porque el primer paso es, well, what is the first step? Imaginémonos que el first step es, look, what did we say the first step is? Go to the online web page. Luego dice, login to your account. A ver, ¿qué necesitaríamos para un login in the account? What do we need for that? Um, uh, the email. The email, okay. Create, create account. Create an account. And when you create an account, what do you have to create? Um, um, uh, how to say, use your number and password. Exactly, exactly. We need a username and we, and we need a password. Eso es correcto. That's what we need. We need a username and a password. User username and we need a password right the password is permítame, voy a, username and and password eso es lo que necesitamos okay i think we're okay with that so we have we need the web page or the website eh, un, algo vocabulario más por ejemplo si es si ya tienen una cuenta es eh, solo le dan login Right, login, como aparece ahí, login. ¿Cómo decimos lo contrario? ¿Cuál es lo contrario de login? What is the opposite of login? Logout. Logout, exacto. Ahí lo mandé, login, logout. Ok, uh, cuando se van a registrar por primera vez, ¿cómo se dice en inglés eso? Registrarse por primera vez, que no sea, register es la acción, ¿verdad? Pero a veces aparece diferente, no sé si lo han visto, um, cuando es por primera vez que lo van a hacer. Join us, no. Jo join us es unirse, ajá, uh -huh. pero hay uno más, que es este, y se lo voy a escribir aquí, por si lo, a veces aparece eh, de esta manera, para que sign up. It means that you need to register first time. 
Pero cuando ya tiene un usuario, you lock in or sign in de un solo, ¿verdad? Sign in, que es lo mismo como lock in. Pero si es sign up, es porque you're going to register for the first time. Se van a registrar por la primera vez y you create the user and password. Okay, creo que son, son términos eh, básicos, pero hay que te, tener la claridad de la diferencia. Primero, lock in, ingresar. Lock out, se salen de la cuenta. Register es lo mismo que sign up, porque se van a registrar. Y si ya tienen una cuenta, algunas veces aparece sign in. Como por ejemplo en Facebook aparece sign in. Si no tienen cuenta de Facebook, les dice sign up. You have to register and create an account. Y después ya empieza, viene la parte funny, ¿verdad? Play around to see the, uh, all the available things to start uh, purchasing if we have the money to purchase. Okay. Um, ¿Algún comentario? ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Any questions about this? I want to add something more. En el billing address, in the state, se acostumbra a poner el zip code, el billing address, el zip code. In our country, alguien que, Daniel, what do you place on the, on the zip code if you purchase online for El Salvador? Mm, I go, I go, I go cook. I don't know. You don't, do you, you enter? I don't use. You don't use that. I, I use uh, a lot. I use one, but it's, it's very old. I think it's um, you know, not in use. It's zero one one four four, but I think it's going to use. But only with the address in um, in my cell cell phone number, mm -hmm. it's okay. No it's problem. okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know because I don't I don't really trust purchasing online so I don't do that so but I heard people they enter there's a specific number for this but I don't know but then in the state yes it's a, it's a zip code es, el, es un número de cinco dígitos five digits number but in our country I see no says que que zip code verdad pero le preguntaba este, ante, ante, sí anteriormente se, se ocupaba eso que le decía 01544 pero ya después se lo busqué y creo que ya no está en uso. Uh -huh. Pero igual, me, mi dirección la pongo, mi dirección de mi casa la pongo correcta, eh, luego en mi teléfono celular. Y, works. Bueno, de, después de la dirección pongo ese código, después de El Salvador, es decir, la, la casa, co, 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 calle, col, calle, casa, colonia, eh, ciudad, departamento y país, luego de país pongo en ese código. Y luego y, el, número, el, el número celular y ahí llega sin problema. Y le llega el Rolex. Yes. Ok. <ríe> nice, nice. Trans, trans. Por, parte, por parte está viniendo. Ahorita te voy a comprar la, una manecilla. <ríe> y le llega ahí la, la, la tablet de highest tech, la última tecnología. Ok, nice. Thank you so much. Well, uh, this is basically the, the most common information when we make payments online. And the rest, let's see, credit cards, um, and then billing information. Yeah, la verdad se lo están vendiendo toda la información más, más relevante para una compra en línea. Okay, um, así que sí. Uh, if you trust, if you trust, if you confía, I think it's a good exercise to place an order, to hacer una orden, uh, with, uh, hacer una orden en línea, ¿verdad? But if you don't trust, if you're like uh, me, mm -mm, uh, I, 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 I have a recommendation. Uh -huh, what if, is it? If, if you don't trust, uh, you can, uh, how say, uh, comenzar. Start, con begin. Start, begin with a little value. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I, I, I am, in my personal experience, is I, I, I start like this. Mm -hmm. Así comencé yo comprando con cosas pequeñas, cinco dólares, eh, cositas, para, para probar en, 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 en servicio Trustworthy. de correo, mm -hmm. de transporte, chato. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sí. Y ya después ya uno, ya uno va aumentando ya lo que, de acuerdo a lo que uno quiere, pues ya. Uh -huh. 
hasta ahora millonada ya va Daniel Entonces, <risa> <risa> like no, millions ahora, el, el problema que tengo el problema que hay ahorita es que correos como eh, correos de aquí en el Salvador como que no está trabajando al 100% uh -huh. se, se carga se carga un poco uh -huh. Pero, bueno, bueno, como, como uno tiene el, el, el tracking number, uno va a, a investigando cómo está. Uh, where the package is, right? Okay. Yes. And, okay, I like it. Uh, I think I'm going to try maybe purchasing something cheap, right? And then yeah. if it works, we can try. But is this due to the pandemic that the, the the correos, as you said, is not working regularly or normally, or siempre sí o sí, or it's always like that? Uh, no, it, it, for the pandemic, it's not working. Mm -hmm. Not working normally, mm -hmm. because the, all the shipping is suspended. Oh, shippings are suspended, okay. Yeah, okay. That, that mm -hmm. is, in, um, después de la pandemia, is okay. after pandemic oh, after when, pandemic. When, it, when everything is is normal okay yes. all right so let me check the tennis thank you daniel for for sharing your experience on this and i think it's great because whatever you share we all learned and that's the idea so let's see number one on the list angel narciso present teacher thank you christina present teacher thank you daniel present teacher thank you elsie Thank you, Gabriela. Herson. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jose Miguel, be careful, Herson. I saw you, I know you're driving, but just, just relax. Listen to the class and relax. Be careful. You know, mañana ya saben, ¿verdad? Al regresar, van a decir, se conducía para su casa. <laughs> Y, mire, y, ya no, y ya no sale ese programa que me acuerdo que antes así hacía. Ya, yo, creo que sí, ya, yo creo que la sí, boca. pero ya, no, ya, no ya esa, voz, esa voz ya la quitaron, creo. Ya la quitaron, bueno, ya que vean que. Pero era, era bien pausa y escandalosa. ¡Al regreso! <laughs> right. Ok. Uh, let's keep going. Thank you for sharing. I didn't know about that, that it's been removed already. <laughs> ok, José Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, José. Uh, José Rubén. Present teacher. Thank you, JC. Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Thank you, María Italia. Present. Thank you, Maria Julia. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlene Nicole. Present. Marvin. Present Marvin. Teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Rafa. Present teacher. Thank you, Raquel. No, Ray. Present teacher. Ray, thank you, Xiomara. No, Xiomara not connected in Judy. Okay, Judy, I saw Judy, right? Teacher. Yeah, she's there. Okay, so thank you so much, guys. We need to move on. And uh, what do you know about uh, demonstrative uh, pronouns, guys? What do you know about this topic? Uh, you can say demonstrative or demonstrative, you decide. But then what do you know about that? I want you to see these highlighted words in here. We have those, that, uh, these, this. So what do you know about this? How do we use them? A ver, give me examples. Deme unos ejemplos. If you, if you know how to use those, that, those, that, this, this. Any example? What do you remember? Did we study this previously or is it the first time? I think we studied this previously. Not sure. Give me examples. You, you can open your mic to give me one example using any of these dem demonstrative um, pronouns, or maybe you can send me one message on the chat with an example, if you know how to use them. I'll give you two minutes. I need to use this car. I need to use this car, okay. I need to use this car, okay. And where is the car, near or far? Uh, near. Near. Yeah. Okay. Near. Where is far is go. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Those those views are 
a plural and that is a singular. So those is plural and that is singular. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference? Is that is the thing is near and thus is a long distance. Far. Uh -huh. So that is near, you said. Yes. Hmm. And this? Is that for <laughs> things that are near? Or for things that are far? I remember that this we use for singular, singular, and uh, uh, the things that are, at, are close. And uh, these uh, we use for plural, and uh, we use for things or person that are uh, far. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, you do have the idea, guys. I want to say something right here. So we have that, and then that, and this is singular, okay, singular, and this is far, like that. Then we have this, this is singular, near. Okay, and then we have the other ones. We have those, plural, far. We have this, plural, near. That's the way it is, as you said it, okay? Some of you said it. I don't know if you can see what I'm writing here. No sé si pueden ver lo que he escrito. Uh, that, this, those, this. No sé si les dije la última vez la diferencia entre la pronunciación de, de give me a second, please, entre este y este. La diferencia es how long the pronunciation is. Ese es corto, this. Ese es this. Un poquito más sostenido. This, 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 este, these. This, the, e, e, e. If you, if you hold it a little bit, si lo sostiene un poquito más, eso es el plural, these. Lo otro es this, 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 these. Lo otro sí son más marcados, that, y lo otro es those, those. Estos se conocen como uh, demonstrative, demonstrative pronouns. Son los pronombres demonstrative. Cuando decimos demonstrative es porque te muestran, muestran algo. En español sería como esos, aquellos, este. Okay? You, you use them to, to, to show something, to demonstrate something. Okay? How close or how far something is. ¿Qué tan cerca o qué tan um, lejos algo está? Está algo. Okay? So that's the way it is. Um, so having that in mind, teniendo eso en mente, Uh, no sé si le gustaría copiar, ya vamos a verlo. De hecho, aparece en el cuadrito. Me gustaría que hagamos un intento. Let's make, uh, uh, let's try, and let's complete this word statement. Y elijamos cuál sería la más, la correcta. According to your experience or what you understood, based on what you understood. Circo, and when you finish, let me know.
when you finish, please send me a message on the chat to confirm. Finish teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Finish. Awesome. Thank you so much, JC. Let's see. Uh, Linda finished too. Okay, good. We have three people. Let's take one more minute, please. Then we're going to start sharing. Um, let's see. I need uh, four volunteers to read the statements and give us the answer. Maybe we want to do it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Volunteers, please. Volunteers. Me, teacher. Thank you. Go ahead. It's necessary to follow those, those steps to purchase what someone needs. Okay. Um, thank you so much. And that is correct. Number two. Volunteers. Uh, I think that I want to buy though uh, that big desk. I like it. Nice. I think I want to buy that big desk. I like it. That. Okay, good. Thank you. Next one. Number three. Thank you, Thank you, Daniel. Do you want to buy this refrigerator? It's come in four different colors. Good. Thank you. Yes. Number four. Me, teacher. Thank you, JC. I'm going to buy these two tables with this credit card. The micro. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this, I wanted to say this one, JC, this is tablets. Tablets. I know it says like tables, but then tablet, it's sorry. tablet, tablet, tablet. Son las tabletas. Uh, no, eh, si se confunde por lo de la mesa, ¿verdad? Table, como, pero lleva la T, that's the difference. Okay, good. So we have those, uh, that, these, and these, right? Which is... Um, Girl. Okay, uh, steps, big desk, refrigerator, two tablets. Okay, good. Uh, let's move on. And we have the grammar point on the next page. Let's see. Let me to move on a little bit more. Tenemos la primer link para mañana. Miren, guys, mañana vamos a tener ese esp espacio y vamos, les voy a preguntar de este link. Okay. Hay varios que tienen apagada la cámara, pero no sé me están escuchando. Yes. Mañana dejamos un espacio y me comentan qué encontraron en ese link. Uh, two people have a conversation about credit cards. Ok. Así que allá anótenlo en su agenda. Y mañana, pues, listos a compartir. Ok. Copiado. Como dicen, dragger that. Yes. Okay. Damn four. Damn four. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Cop. <laughs> okay. okay. Copy it. All right. Let's move on. Aquí tenemos what we said, guys. Singular, plural. Singular, plural. Uh, how to use demonstrate, demonstrative, demonstrative, or demonstrative, como se quiera decirlo. Uh, demonstrative, demonstrative. Demonstrative, if. Esa T segunda puede ser una T, sonido fuerte, o puede ser un sonido de R. Demonstrative, demonstrative, demonstrative. Ok, pronouns. Um, singular and plural. Singular and plural. Veamos uh, Julia Gómez. Julia, leanos lo singular y le vamos a pedir a... Uh, Jose, que nos lea los plurals, please. Okay, teacher. Singular. 
I want to buy this computer. We check this cell phone on the web, web page. She is going to order that kit for her, for her friend. The company wants to buy that lift. Thank you so much. Um, le felicito, escucho bien pronunciado la tercera persona. Eh, solo una observación y es en el verbo en pasado. ¿Recuerda que dijimos la, el, el módulo anterior? ¿Cómo pronunciamos este? Um, no, me cuesta siempre los eh, teacher. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. le voy a dejar la tarea de aprenderse los sonidos finales de los verbos de la forma base. Eso creo que se los di la vez pasada. Le di una presentación y le dije... Remember this. Si el verbo termina, el verbo presente es check, ¿cómo pronuncio el ed? ¿Qué sonido le doy? ¿Le pongo un sonido de t, un sonido de d o un sonido adicional id? ¿Quién se acuerda? Uh, it sounds like, like a t. ¿Por qué le ponemos una t? ¿Por qué sí? ¿Por qué es sí? Tiene la razón, tiene razón, la verdad, lo que me acaba de decir. Pero ¿por qué le ponemos sí? I don't remember the rule, <laughs> but I know that, that that sounds like a sí. El corazón me dice, el corazón me late. Um, tengo una corazonada. Está bien, you're right, you're right. Una vez hay que ser al que también, verdad. Sí, if it sounds, una vez dijo una presentadora, si suena bien, tiene sentido. Y lo dijo una gringa en una presentación de, de cómo enseñar inglés. If it, sounds, if it sounds nice, makes sense. Digo, como, what? Ahora me hace clic con lo que usted acaba de decir. Eh, lo sé, porque lo sé. Pero la, la regla explica que si el, el verbo termina con un sonido de K, el sonido que de la ED es de T, ese la K va con la T. ¿Se recuerdan de eso, chicos? Hay que, hay que tener esa... Hay que ir a estudiarlo, ¿ok? Este, es necesario. Solo no decimos check. Decimos check. 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 Esa E de check. Check. Para los que no saben el módulo anterior, pueden buscarlo como uh, pronouncing, así pronouncing... Uh, ed, así pronouncing uh, ed, así ed, pueden ponerle simple, simple past, así para buscarlo. Ahí van a encontrar all this information I'm telling you about. Lo que uno, pero los demás, please, please study this, study this, study this. It's necessary. It is necessary. I strongly recommend it. Ok, um, así que le voy a pedir otra vez a nuestra compañera que nos lea en la misma oración, please. Mi teacher. Ok, go ahead. We check, es que no se me cuesta. We check, we check the cell phone on the web page. Uh -huh. um, ok, primero diga check. Y luego diga el sonido de t, t, check, t, check, t, check, t, check, t, check, t, check, t, exactly, check. T. Una vez más, please. We checked uh -huh. the cell phone on the web page. Exactly, exactly. We checked the cell phone on the web page. Yes, thank you so much. Oh, you see, let's continue. Uh, I think I had Jose Miguel, I said, right? Jose Miguel, go ahead. Yes. Plural. plural. You have to buy these shoes. He can, he can pay with any of these credit card cards. They purchase those cards. My coworkers sold those products. My co-workers sold those products. Okay. Any questions, guy? Any any um 
question that you want to ask? Alguna pregunta? Any question? Is it, is it okay? Um, vocabulary here that you want to ask? Or are we fine? Uh -huh. Podría volver a explicar dos y this. Los dos son plurales, pero ¿cuándo se usa el el dos y el this? ¿Cuándo se usa el, el dos y el this? Ok. ¿Alguien le gustaría ayudarnos? ¿Alguien que para dar, dar más ejemplos? Guys? ¿Alguien? Those is plural mm -hmm. where the object is far. So, cuando el objeto está lejos mm -hmm. y es plural, se usa those. Y se usa this where is plural and the object is near. El objeto está cerca. It's okay? Mm -hmm. Vamos a hacer algo, vamos a dar más ejemplos para que eso vaya quedando claro. ¿Qué le parece, Daniel, si nos pone un ejemplo de lo que se acaba de explicar en el chat? Un ejemplo. Y todos pensemos en un ejemplo. Vamos a tomar primero los, los singulares, que son that y usemos this. Eh, ¿Cómo los util... Lo que ha pasado en este momento, y antes de que me, me pueden mandar sus ejemplos también, lo que ha pasado, no me permita, voy a mandar que alguien me mandó that. Eso vamos a tomar. Lo que ha pasado en este momento, y creo que puede estar afectando un poco, lo voy a déjenme compartirlo, es que en el ejercicio anterior, Rubén, en este, uh, aquí no, no tenemos contexto, no tenemos, si estuviéramos físicamente, las cosas serían un poco más comprensibles, porque en, en this four sentences, en esas cuatro, no tenemos en sí este contexto, es decir, no sabemos dónde está ubicada la persona, la cercanía de closeness que tiene con los objetos. Pero si estuviéramos en un real context, real scenario, ahí sí tendríamos que determinar si es those, si es that, si es this o si es that. Entonces, uh, eso, por eso que se, esa parte de las, de las, de las sentences que ya hicieron, muy probable que haya sido un poco confuso, pero lo único que nos daba la referencia o la pauta era si era plural o era singular, porque no teníamos más contexto. Entonces, pero ya cuando tenemos con we have context, ahí sí. Eh, vaya Rubén, en, vaya, me pueden mandar sus ejemplos. Mándenme sus ejemplos en el, my cell phone, my cell phone Disney, mm, my cell phone Disney. Mm. ¿Qué quiere decir ahí, Cristina? Vaya, this significa este, este, ese, pero si está cerca. Esto, no significa? Ok. Por lo general va a ir con el verbo es, si es singular. Vaya, este, mira Rubén. This is my cell phone. Este, aquí lo tengo. This is my cell phone. Uh, si tuviese, no sé qué más tengo aquí. Oh, this is my agenda. This is my agenda. Aquí la tengo. Si la agenda la tuviera ubicada lejos de donde estoy sentado y no la, no la tengo a mi alcance, tendría que decir that. That. That is my agenda. Si yo tuviera dos agendas en mi mano, tendría que decir these are my agendas. These are. Ya es el otro. Si tuviera dos agendas lejos de mí, diría, those are my agendas. Those están lejos de mí. Este, si usa el verbo to be, es, me da la pauta aún más fácil, porque is singular, are plural. Pero si no usamos esa, este verbo to be, eh, solo tenemos la claridad, la claridad que those, plural, lejos. This, singular, this, corto, this, singular, y está cerca, ¿verdad? Sí. El otro, that, es singular, pero está lejos, ¿sí? Eso es, yo creo que, um, ¿qué más podemos hacer? Vean en este momento, Rubén, lo que está alrededor suyo. Veo que está un diploma, no sé qué es, que está detrás. ¿Qué diría ahí? Diría, 
this diploma o that diploma. Vaya, y alguien me, me, me mostró una imagen. Agradezco muchísimo, ¿verdad? Esa imagen que me la... Me la... Ahí tómele una captura, ¿verdad? Yo no le puedo mostrar de ese, de ese tipo de... Ahí está clarito, clarito, ¿verdad? Y ya para los que somos visuales, yo soy visual, este, ahí pues, le tomo una foto. Thank you for that. Okay. Yo no podría ponerle eso porque <ríe> Uy, dice uh, Yes, you can. <ríe> yes, you can. <ríe> dice ELS Printables.com. <ríe> ok, so thank you so much. Ahí está, ahí está Garfield dándonos la explicación. Mire. Entonces, uh, volviendo al, al, thank you so much. I really appreciate that image. That's, that's really cool. That was so kind of you. Rubén, ¿cómo diría entonces a ese diploma? This is my diploma. Ah, pero si lo está tocando a la par ahí. Quiero ver si lo toca. Ah, this is my diploma. Dice ahí cerquita, ¿verdad? Imagínense que el diploma está en la otra, en la otra, en, en la sala que está, que no está, sería, that is my diploma, pero alcanza a ver, that, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ese, that is my diploma, ok, y si fueran dos diplomas si lo está tocando sería, these are, pero si son dos diplomas y están lejos sería, those yeah. are, Those are. Ahí tenemos okay. una serie de ejemplos, I need, I need to buy, el tú es missing Daniel I need to buy this watch es como que Daniel está ahí con el así con el, el, el rollo de, de a 100 y está el showcase la vitrina ahí y lo está tocando I need to buy this watch yeah, I, have so, the, I have the watch in my hand ajá, you have it in your hand, lo tiene en sus manos I need yes. to buy this notebook dice Norma, ya lo tiene ya casi lo, lo está tocando this one como me decía un amigo que para Estados Unidos, como no podía hablar inglés, iba a los restaurantes y decía, this, 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 solo podía decir, quiero esta comida, es this, 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 this. Luego solo aprendí a decir this y con eso iba a pedir comida. Porque no, sabes, cerca, this, 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 this. Ok, um, this is something that you can, basically, you have it really near or you can touch it because it's near. Um, ok. Uh, veamos los ejemplos que han mandado. I want this pencil. This is my diploma. These are my pencil. Póngale la S y, y la C, porque es plural. These are my pencils. Those audífonos. Mm. Uh, those, uh, those, uh, those headphones, those earphones. I like them. Diga, I like them, porque son, son ellos. Uno, dos. Okay, I like them. Okay, yes, um, I like it. Any other examples? Questions? Uh, quiero ver otros ejemplos. Linda, those shoes in the, in the shop are gorgeous. Yes, uh, nice. Shoes, heels, heels, heels. Okay, um, hmm. let's continue. Let's see, let me share my screen y vamos a hacer una, un, un review. Aquí, aquí tenemos write the correct uh, demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, ok? Ahí tenemos six conver mini conversations. Completémoslas y luego discutimos. Please, let's take three minutes. This is my computer, yes.
when you finish, I will appreciate if you can tell me. Finish. Okay, thank you so much, JC has finished. Mm -hmm. Let's take one more minute. Okay, so one more minute and we'll start sharing. Okay, so let's start sharing. Let's see, number one, I need one volunteer to read it, please. Who wants to do it? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Go ahead, Jose. Do you want to buy this tablet? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's one option. Can we have another version or is that is that the, the only one we can have? I what? have another version. Can you say it please? Um, do you want to buy that tablet? Yes, I want to buy it. I, I want to buy the black one. Okay, I have to say both are correct. You can say either this or that. Okay, because we don't know where the persons are. In this case, both are okay. This or that, good. Thank you so much. Number two, volunteers, number two. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Can I see that jeans? Sure, what size? Okay, you said that jeans, right? Is there yeah. any yeah. any other? Opinion or something you want to double check, Daniel? Can I see? Uh, those are, those are Jing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You just need to write a demonstrative pronoun, only that one. Can I see? Uh, can I see those are jeans? So what size? Sure, what size? Sí. Uh, lo único que no vamos a poner el verbo, el verbo to be, este, Rubén. Hace un rato lo mencioné para hacer referencia que era plural. Pero en ese escenario, este, solo es aquí. Vamos a poner el, el demonstrative pronoun y luego el, 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 el sustantivo, el nombre. Es, por eso aquí, aquí sería, can I see those jeans? Como aquellos 
mm. eh, jeans. De un solo va a ir el, el, el sustantivo. Porque aquí no, no necesitamos decir, puedo ver aquellos, es, aquellos son pantalones o aquellos es. El verbo tu se traduce como son o son. Quiero ver, son de these are, de estos son. Sí, son, porque es plural. Es, ahí no necesitamos el verbo to be, ¿ok? Necesitamos de un solo la, la, el noun. Y Daniel decimos those, porque jeans eh, son two. A pesar que es como los pants, ¿verdad? Acordémonos que uno para la izquierda, otro para la derecha. Two pants. Entonces, pants. Aquí sería those jeans. Y sí, en ese escenario vamos a decir okay. those. ¿Por qué those y no these? Porque dice que I see. Es, me da un poco más de contexto. No está con él, no los tiene, eh, no los tiene junto a él. Can I see those jeans? Can I see those jeans? Sure, what size? What size? Ok, number three. Number three, volunteers. Volunteers, thank you. Number three. Me teacher. Thank you. My friend I am are interested on that makeup. The small box. Yes, that's one version. Can we have another version or that's the only one? Can we say this? Can we say that or only one of those, solo uno de estos. What do you think? For me, to correct this and that. So is for me, también para mí. Yes, the scenario give, gives us this, this option. What about number four? Number four, who wants to help us with number four? Did you... Did you bring this package? This package? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Or what can we say? Did you bring or that, that, that package? Exactly. Either or. Uno, o sea, uno el otro. What about number five? What do we have? Number five. Um, you can't add these four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but can I take two? Awesome, yes. Can we have a different version or only this is an option? Can we say those here? Yes or not? What do you think? Yes. Okay. Yes, we can I say don't. we can we can we can say this or we can say those. Mm -hmm. What about number six? I have to go to buy what these those these those that those okay no. those. I like it. I I rather say those. I have to go to buy those uh, new books at the library. Because the, the person doesn't have them. Maybe if we had more scenario, more context, maybe we can use this. Right? Maybe, but I would rather say those. Because mm -hmm. the scenario does not give us much information here. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, for, for sharing your answers. Si quiero escucharlas una vez más, ya tenemos las respuestas. Vamos a ver, voluntarios, read, que las lean, read. This. Un voluntario que lea tres y el otro que lea otras tres para avanzar. Me. Thank you so much. Uh, go ahead, please. And me. And you. Go ahead. Do you want to buy this tablet? Yes. I want to buy the black one. Two. Can I, I see uh, those jeans? Sure. What size? Uh, three. My friend and I are interested on tag makeup. The uh, 
a small box. Thank you so much. Uh, interested on that makeup. Interested, interested on that makeup. Okay, good. Thank you. Number four to six, Marlene, I think. Yeah. Did you bring the package? Yes, I did. You can't add those four sweaters to the chart. Okay, but I can. But can I take two? I have to go to buy those in new box books at the library. I'm going with you. Good library. Good library. Library. Okay. Um. So thank you so much, guys. Um. La parte que viene es la que más me encanta. Aquí donde ustedes you shine bright like a diamond. Aquí vamos van a pretender que están comprando algo en línea. Y um, le van a, va, uno va a ser el agente en un, como una llamada y el otro le va a ayudar, ¿verdad? Aquí usted, pero lo que me interesa es que usen la información de la, que al principio la vimos, ¿verdad? How can we make one conversation between one agent and one customer? Un agente de servicio al cliente y uno, uno que es el cliente. Okay, tratando, trying to make an order online, tratando de ordenar algo en línea. Involucren cómo hacer el pago, involucren cómo se loguean, mire, está en la página correcta, mire su información, su usuario, su contraseña, la información de pago. Trate de guiarlo. You're going to walk the customer through. Lo van a guiar, hacer la orden y hace que al final se vaya contento, le diga thank you, lo hice, I did it and then y ya le dan, este, incluso le pueden dar el tracking number, ¿verdad? para que follow up um, Would you like to work in pairs or in, or in, in, in trios, groups of three? How, what do you prefer? Por si alguien yeah. se por si ajá, pensaba que podemos hacer eh, grupos de tres y... It's y more ser, ide ideas. Idea. More, more ideas, ok. Well, how many are we connected? Estamos 16. Vaya, lo que son buenos en matemáticas, 16 divided by 3. No, no le enseñaron las tablas. Bien. <laughs> 16 divided by 3, engineers. 5. 5. Yeah. Yeah. Five y va a sobrar uno, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes, ok. Ok. Good. Five people, five students, five groups. Si uno va a quedar de cuatro. Here we go. Bueno, entonces, listos. Brainstorm ideas. Y practice, practice, practice. Uh, piensen en un saludo, greeting. Piensen en una compañía, si es posible. Piensen en cómo hacer empatía con el cliente. Sí, si está frustrado, ¿cómo le van a decir? Relax, tranquilícese, tranquilícese, hold your horses, ¿ok? Yo le voy a ayudar allá, yo soy el experto. ¿Y qué, qué frase utilizaría para que la llamada o la asistencia del cliente vaya así, uh, de una manera fluida, natural, ¿verdad? Para que el cliente no se le vaya a desesperar. La última vez escuché a una cliente bien demanding, no sé, así que no sé qué rol van a tomar ahora. Aquí vamos, guys. Take your time. Ahí voy a estar ready, uh, walking around, para si, si les puedo ayudar también. Ok, here we go.
¿Cuál podría ser el problema? Yo pienso que tal vez um, el, la página web no, no le permitió, digamos, eh, que le realizaran el cobro. Ah, ok. For calling to? Uh -huh. Empresa, óptica, tal cosa, no sé. Eh, pongamos óptica, eh, un, un apellido, cualquiera. Ok. Si quieres aquí lo voy a ir escribiendo, lo ves. Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Yo había pensado good day para no empezar como hola, pues muy informal, ¿verdad? Buen día, buenos días.
need? Or what do you need? What do you need? Why? Mm -hmm. I intend to say, uh, I need my clothes. Aquí podemos decir como right now the yo pienso the web page. No, te, le mandaré un catálogo. I think time was not enough, right? Creo que no alcanzó el tiempo, ¿verdad? O oh, sí. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I apologize for my time management. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon, guys. I know we were, I was not good at time manage, managing this time. <laughs> Pero bueno, el tiempo se terminó. Mañana vamos a retomar la actividad. Y si, la, si pudieran ahí completar las ideas, sería outstanding. Pero si no, mañana me recuerdan con quienes trabajaban y trataré de hacer los grupos para que sigan trabajando en ello. Uh, solo les tomo la asistencia. Gracias por su, su participación y todo eso, ¿verdad? That's something really appreciated. Ok, entonces uh, veamos. Attendance. Narciso. Present teacher. Cristina. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Elsie. Present. Gabriela. Harrison. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Miguel. Present teacher. Ruben. Present teacher. AC. Present teacher. Linda. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Idalia. Ma Maria Idalia. Maria Julia. Present Thank you. Marlene. Present. Marvin. Marvin? No, Norma. Raf. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafa. I'm here. Thank you. Raquel. Xiomara. Ray. Ray. Judy. Okay. Thank you so much, Julie. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. Uh, have a nice rest of the day. Try to sleep, try to rest, and see you tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.